a little learning is a dangerous thing. Okay? People do not, they skirt the periphery. They do not delve into the deep waters of knowledge in most cases. Okay? Not a blanket statement. Some do. But it is a generalized statement that this is true most of the time. Okay? For most people. And the, the, another part of it is everybody wants so-called affirmative solutions, right? They want you to say what other people should be doing. What should you be doing? What should you be inventing? Okay? I am not here to tell you what you should be doing or inventing or coming up with as potential affirmative or positive solutions to any given problem of humanity. The entirety of my work is about the apophatic solution to the human condition of slavery. And apophatic means defined in the negative. It doesn't mean that I am telling people what they should be doing actively. I am explaining to people that we are enslaved because of what we are currently doing that we have no right under natural law to continue to do. The solution that I have presented ad infinitum to the point of nausea, okay, ad nauseum, Okay, repeating myself endlessly over and over like a broken goddamn record, okay, is that the solution is to cease and desist in behaviors that we have no right to continue to take because they are in opposition to moral law. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the solution. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but that's the solution to the human condition of slavery. We need not do one other task. We need to stop doing and condoning the tasks which we already are performing on a daily basis that have absolutely no bearing in right, which we have no right to continue to perform. It is an apophatic or negative solution. The solution lies in what we must stop doing. And people hate that. They hate that answer. And the reason they hate it is because their ego is so overinflated that they believe they know the solution in its fullness better. And it's all these things that run through their mind like endless chatter. It's an endless chatter brain of, but what about this, this, and we could do this, 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 that, that, that. Stop the chatter of the mind. What my work has prepared and helped people to do if they're really listening is to get your mind and body in a place where you are able to receive from the living dynamic intelligence of the cosmos itself the real answer to solving the human condition of slavery and getting out of slavery and being in a world that is actually in a state of true freedom or true anarchy. Liberty or death, you're live on what on earth is happening. Welcome. Hey, Mark, can you hear me? Yes, I can, loud and clear. Oh, wow. Um, I just got to say it's an honor to be able to finally speak with you. Pleasure is mine. What do you have for us today? Um, I'd like to just give some insight of sort of what I've observed as someone who's studying natural law, mind control, um, while also being a student within the Prussian outcome-based education model. Okay. Um. It seems it's got to like be a tough. It's got to be a tough position to find yourself in in the modern day. Oh man, trust yeah. me, it is. Like people think reading is uh, <laughs> something embarrassing. Wow. Sorry, Mark. I'm just a little nervous. Um, no, it's okay. Uh, just take you your time. My call. Yeah. So, what what has been your experience? Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, something I've noticed. It seems like what they're doing is presenting these watered down versions of the satanic tenets under the guise of objective science. Interesting. And, and uh, like, uh, are you seeing a lot of like moral relativism in that sense? Selfishness, moral relativism, uh, even yeah. uh, perhaps eugenics. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, as like an anecdote, like in my social studies class, we had to do this uh, activity where we were, Essentially, you create your own government, um, do like this mock auction where you bid on what the rights of your citizens would be, like uh, 
raise your hand if you want your citizens to have the right to free speech or um, or the right to put a certain substance into their body. Like they're propagating these ideas of moral relativism, like as if it's uh, just a consensus thing. And it's like, if you think that that should happen, then it's a good idea, you know, or it's somehow acceptable uh, to just uh, be the arbiters of those rights. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. So uh, when it was my tur turn, uh, my turn to present, I just said, rights are inherent in nature, and they cannot be delegated or revoked by man. And That's right. I got an F, of course. <laughs> You got an F for yep. saying that rights don't come from human beings and human beings cannot grant rights or revoke rights that exist naturally. You were failed in your yep, class. I got a big fat F mark. Uh, I was surprised, but not really yeah. surprised. Well, <laughs> this, is where, this is where we're headed. We're headed into an induction, an initiation into Satanism. That's what is really taking place in the modern world, particularly in the university system. That, it's unbelievable. I, 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 that's, I, I really feel for you uh, in that sense. It's, it's, it's unbelievable that this is actually happening in uh, modern edu so-called education systems, which are nothing but government indoctrination camps. You know, that's what yeah, they are. It's, it's like this, um, this whole occult concept of man becoming God and then creating the masses within his own image. That's um, right. The only way they can create this new world order or this dark new world order, as you've said before, is if they sell us the watered down versions of their own belief systems. Exactly. And that's exactly what they're doing in this um, school system. Oh, well, phenomenal call. I, I thank you for making me, you know, aware that that is taking place to that extent. That is, that is very disconcerting and outright frightening. Uh, I mean, if you really hear what that caller just said, you know, they are literally teaching the value system of Satanism in modern schools, in the so-called modern education system. Uh, here I am on stage delivering my uh, uh, Tesla uh, and humanity's missing paradigm shift presentation. Uh, and on the slide there, it's uh, talking about a dynamic a lot of people don't want to talk about or discuss, you know, that we have to internally change. We can't just say that we want change externally and uh, talk about it and wish for it to happen. We have to be the change that we want to see. And, you know, when people ask people who wants change, everybody wants change, they put their hand up, oh, I want things to change. But they don't want to look at the requirements for that change to take place. And the main requirement for that change to take place is you. You yourself must think differently about the world and yourself and other people than you are currently thinking. Change starts with mental change. All physical manifested real world change starts with mental change and spiritual change. And then when the person who's saying, well, yo, we all want to see these things change, but who wants to change themselves? Then all the hands go down, all the heads go down, and you could hear the flies buzzing in the room and the crickets chirping. Okay? So, you know, pe people have to understand none of these solutions are affirmative or positive solutions. They are all apophatic or negative solutions, meaning that we have to stop doing the things that we are doing. So I came to the Tesla conference to tell the Tesla enthusiasts one of the hardest things that you could tell this community of people good supportive people who want to see Tesla's work come to fruition, but they don't understand you can't bring free energy into manifestation in a society that's enslaved. You have to end slavery first. You're not going to have free energy in a, in a slave state. 